to another episode of Jim's Robert Garden. So, I don't know if you can see, but those holes are pretty much aligned with each other, which is uh, just what we're after. So now what I can do is um, enlarge those holes to um, 8 millimeters. but because I know where they are, um, I can do that afterwards and it's probably going to be easier to do it with the pipe once it's cut. So what I'll do now is I'll cut this pipe in half lengthways. I'll just show you me doing that now. Okay, so using exactly the same trick, I've put a, um, this is a long mason drill. Because I've put that through there, I can actually tell that the that, that, that the holes, um, you know, horizontal. So now what I can do is I can draw the centre line in here. I'm just going to do it by art. This hasn't got to be absolutely perfect, um, because the uh, you know the two halves are going to come together anyway. So it doesn't got to be absolutely spot on, and there's going to be a gap in here anyway. So even if it is slightly out. That'll be okay. So all we need to do now is basically draw draw a line between those two. Now I'm only going to draw a line on the top because what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut through with the angle grinder and I'm going to go all the way on to the other side at each end and then just join the two lines up together um, so I can see where the, you know, this line going all the way through is on the other side and then I can um, basically then draw a line between them two dots or cut from the angle grinder and I'll be able to get the second line. So all I'm going to do now is obviously remove the drill first and draw a line between those two um, and then basically cut along the line. Okay so that was the pipe and now I've cut it in half so I've now got two perfect halves. Now basically all that's going to happen now is if you imagine that's the that's the pipe on the um, that's the pipe of the roof. Let's pop that in there for a second. Obviously, this is slightly smaller, but that's basically now going to that will be on two separate pipes. So this is basically going to have um, like a like a T piece like that. So that's going to go off one way, and it's going to be um, exactly the same thing on the other side like that. Yep. Obviously, the, these these pipes here will be longer. And then that's basically going to sandwich the, the pipe together there. And then all I'll do is just drill through there and there. And then put two um, M8 bolts through to so hold it all together. So that's what that's basically what I've ended up with. I have cleaned this up slightly since I cut it. But all I need to do now basically is to um, sort out what, what, what actual bolts I'm going to use to go through. Now I don't want anything that's too, too big. So what I might actually do is leave it as... 6 mil, and just go through with an M6 bolt because what I don't want to do is obviously the pipe that's going to be in the middle of these two is going to be smaller and drilling an 8 mil hole through a, um, um, a 17 mil pipe is going to weaken it somewhat. So obviously, you know, if I get something um, similar to that going through it, um, you know, that's going to weaken it quite a bit. So what I might do is actually leave these as they are and go through with an M6 bolt. Um, because that's, that, that's, that's probably going to give me enough strength to hold it together and it's not going to weaken the middle pipe and, and, and put a weak bit in it. So, the net's going to be um, effectively on top of this. So what I need to do now is basically bevel all of the edges on here to make sure that um, you know there's no sort of sharp edges like this like this corner there. Obviously the, the, uh, the net could chafe on there which will eventually wear a hole through it. So what I need to do is bevel all of these edges, round off the corners and uh, just make it nice and smooth. I'll obviously strip all this paint off, um, measure exactly where the middle is. Um, obviously it's 8 inches long so that's going to be 4 inches in, so somewhere there. Um, so I'll just mark that on. So I'll, I'll, I'll clean all the paint and galvanising off and then um, sort of 
bevel the edges and get them nice and round and then these will be ready to weld on so I'll show you that next. Okay so as you can see I've um, beveled off the edges so when that comes together you know there's going to be no kind of sharp edges or anything like that on the um, on the um, the net so I will need to grind them down I've just basically taken off the rough um, and basically what I need to do now is just obviously bevel these edges as well uh, which I'll do and then uh, just with a um, wire brush I'll wire brush the whole, all the paint off and the galvanise it so they'll be ready to go onto the uh, the pipe work tomorrow when I'm welding. Okay so now it comes to joining the, um, the sides together basically with the um, the 11 foot pole now obviously this is going to form the, the back and the front of the, the tunnel obviously the arches are going to kind of sort of go up from there so I, I obviously want to dis dismantle this and be able to move it about and take it apart and whatever so the, the side bits are actually going to bolt in so what I've done is you can see I've just drilled two holes through there and basically I've cut out of a piece of angle line this is 11 inches long um, sort of 2 inches high 2 inches the other way um, I've basically cut out this shape so what I've done is I've cut a round piece on there which will I'll, I'll show you why in a moment and basically two holes here and that's going to sit um, onto the pole like that now I've I've cut this back a little bit obviously because I don't want to foul the uh, the weld there so basically all that's going to be held on with is um, some bolts so I'm just, I'm just going to put these that, that in there just to lock it in place but basically what I'm going to do is the bolts are going to come up from from underneath um, let me just find the hole and then basically I'm just going to have a little bit of thread poking through like that and then basically a nut's going to go on there so so that if you if you put a bolt through pipe like this what happens is the pipe actually collapses as you tighten the uh, the bolt up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld the bolt to the top piece of pipe and also to the bottom part of the pipe so that as you tighten up the nut it'll pull on the top and the bottom piece of pipe at the same time so all being well that won't allow the pipe to be crushed so what I'm going to end up with basically if I just take this off is I'm going to end up with these bolts and I'll show you how to do this because um, it, it, it won't be a bolt by the time it's in there so that's going to basically stick out to the top like that it's going to be welded around the top here and then as soon as I've welded it up pouring it in like this actually aligns it so I can then weld the top then I know that's aligned and then I can cut off the bottom part of the bolt and then weld that round the bottom there as well so that will be flush at the bottom with just a piece of thread sticking out the top and there's obviously there's going to be one there and there's going to be one in exactly the same way there's going to be another one sitting up there and then basically this will then this will then sit on top of the, um, the pipe sort of in that manner and then all I need to do, obviously these are going in the wrong way around now but uh, all I need to do then is stick that on the two bits of thread and then what I can do is tighten up the, put a nut on both one, tighten it up and then it's all going to be locked into place now this round part here, that's where the piece of pipe is going to come in and join onto there, so basically what I need to do is just move that over slightly that's going to sit on this framework ok sorry I've just moved the other one out of the way so I could show you more clearly so this pipe is basically going to fit onto there like that and then basically I'm going to weld that on but what I need to do if I just sort of step back a little bit what I need to do is make sure that that's going into there completely square and the way basically you do this is just by using Pythagoras' theory so obviously if I measure along here by four foot and then I measure along here three foot if I measure then from this corner to this corner it should be five foot because basically that squared plus that squared should be this squared and obviously four squared is 16 three squared is nine nine and nine and 16 are 25 square root of 25 is five so I should have five foot across here so by doing that I'll make make sure that um, that this is actually it's a perfect right angle then I'll be able to weld that into there and then I can do exactly the same thing on the other side and then this this whole end then will be absolutely square as soon as I've got that square then I can put in the the second ones which are going to go along the bottom and then as soon as I've done that I can then turn the whole thing round and then put the put put this end down at that end if you like 
then I can turn it all the way around and do the same thing again. So I'll do that now and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so I'm just going to weld the bolts in at the top. So I was, just to explain how I'm going to do this. The bolt goes in, I've obviously cleaned both sides, I don't know if you can see that there. That's all the galvanising's off there. So I'm going to place the bolt through the hole, like that, so it's sticking up about an inch out of there. And I'm just going to tack that round of the welder. As soon as that's in place, obviously because it's going through the two holes, I know it's aligned. So I'm just going to weld that round the bottom. As soon as I've done that, with the angle grinder, I will then cut off the bottom there and then weld it again round the bottom. So I'll do that now and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see I've welded the top of both bolts and obviously they're sticking out of the bottom, so this bit now is going to be cut off. But before we go any further, just check that um, the plate actually sits on the bolts, so there you go. So all I need to do now is to fasten those on, is just to run a nut on there and there. That's sitting nice and flat on the on the um, the pipe, so that's, that's um, just a job. Now what I will do is... Um, what I will do is stretch these holes out very slightly by about a millimetre or so. So at the moment these are eight mil holes. I'll take that up to nine, um, just so it, you know, so it goes on a little bit easier than it is at the moment. Um, now what I need to do is turn the whole thing upside down, and then cut off these bits of the bolt that I don't need, and then weld it at the bottom. So I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so there's the there's the bolt cut off. I've cut these bits off the bottom, so I've just cut straight through there and straight through there. Now I'm going to run the weld round here and round there to weld these two pieces together. Now the reason you do this is obviously when the bracket's on and I tighten up the bolts, what it'll do is it'll pull on this side of the pipe and also the other side at the same time so the, the pipe won't deform as I'm tightening the bolts up. So I'll, uh, I'll do that now. Okay, so that's the, that's the underneath there, I don't know if you can see. But the, that's all welded and now sanded off. So that's all nice and flush. So I can then put, put on the, the bracket like that. Just need to put two nuts on there and that's now fixed nice and solid onto there. I need to do exactly the same thing on the other side and then I can start to weld the bar. So I'll do that now. Okay, just to make the point then, so I've I've just spot welded that there. I hope you can see this okay. And I've measured along this line here, three foot, and might made a mark there. And I've measured along this distance here to here, which is four foot. Now if I very quickly Excuse me a second. If I very quickly measure from that point over there now, with it just with the normal tape measure, to here, as you can see, that's exactly five foot. So I know because that's five foot from that mark to that mark, I know that this is a perfect right angle. And what I've done is I've made sure that that is level with a spirit level, and I've made sure that that is level, so I know everything is all square. As soon as you get the first corner in. Uh, the rest of it should fall into place reasonably well. So what I'm going to do now, now I know that that's in the right place, I'm just going to continue around the weld and weld that nice and solid onto here. Then I know I've got a perfect right angle there. Then I can put the other side onto that in there and I'll show you that when it's finished. Okay, so that's now all welded around there. Uh, we've had a bit of rain so this is why we've got a bit of rust on here but I'm sure that'll clean off. So that's all welded around there. Now what I've done is I've propped up all of the um, all the side all the way along so that it's got uh, so all of this is level so I've had a sprint level on all of this making sure it's level and then basically um, by checking the distance from there to there again making sure it's square um, I've also added on the hoops and then I've brought it across here so what I've done is I've made sure it's square from here to here so that's obviously a right angle there um, and it's square across that bottom corner there and then I've welded on um, this in the second place there. So now what you've actually got is the whole the whole framework is all square. If you just come back here, you can actually see the kind of the scale of it now. So it's all kind of together in one piece. So that's what the that's what the tunnel looks like. So there's the one side there with the first cross piece going along, and obviously the hoop. And then this side in. What I've done is all of this. This is level to this. And I've made sure all that's level and obviously that's level and this is level. This obviously wasn't well welded all together. So what I need to do now is to weld a piece from here along to here. There's the bottom piece, obviously the door's going to go in here from the, from the top there down. And then along the back here I need a, another one of these bars going from that corner there to that corner there. So the two, the two rails go all up the back, 
up the side, sorry, along the back and then along down this side. And then obviously here where the door is, there's just going to be one running across the bottom there and obviously the door will be in the middle. So that's kind of what it looks like. Now, now what I need to do now is obviously get these bars in at the bottom here and here. And then there's a, a small amount of, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the this bar here, there seems to be, that piece there seems to be dropping down. So what I'm going to do is just check the geometry of that. Um, I might need to kind of bend that around a little bit just to get it completely square. Um, I don't know if it's just a, um, a trick of the eye or if, it, or, if there's a, the, or if that is actually slightly going down. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll check the geometry and bend that accordingly so it's correct. And then I need to make this middle hoop here, which is the next big stage. And I can start to put in the strut, the middle, from here all the way along to there. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that next and I'll show you what it looks like. Now for the, um, for the bottom poles, the, it's exactly the same bracket um, from that side, but here um, I've had to make this slight cut out because obviously I've got the, the bit going up there, so if you imagine it's going to be like that and then this here goes up, there's that, there's that sort of angle bracket like that, so I've had to make a cut out there. Now the only problem that I've got is obviously it's going to be difficult to put a bolt through there, so both bolts are going to go through um, this sort of back, back uh, part of it here, so it's going to be a little bit further away from the um, from there than, than, than sort of perfect to honest with you. But I've just measured out, this is going to be obviously be the other side, um, and this one I've just marked on the holes there, so they're about sort of, I don't know, about four or five inches apart. It's not ideal, but I've had a look at the um, the pole at the side, it's going to be really difficult to get a bolt here. Um, so basically I've had to put the two there, but I'm sure it'll be strong enough, there'll be two M8 bolts running through there, and uh, that will that will more than hold um, things together. So I'll just drill the holes through here. Again, I'm going to drill eight mil holes um, in there. I'm going to start off with a um, six mil hole to start the hole off, and then I'll be drilling through with a um, M8, and that will um, basically the these will be bolted on exactly the same way as the others. So I've obviously got two two right hand side ones that I've cut out um, in exactly the same way, and then I've obviously got the, the sort of the mirror image two of those for the other side, so what I'm going to do now is just drill the holes out of there ready so that they can go on uh, the bottom part of the uh, the frame. So obviously I want the I want the holes to be in the centre of the pipe, so basically the easiest way to do that is just, just a scrap piece of pipe, I've obviously measured the um, the diameter of the pipe which is 38 um, 38 mil, and then basically you know considering we've got this bit here I've just gone in slightly and measured half of that which is obviously 19 19 mil, so I've basically got the two holes, um, or, the, or should I say, the two marks where the uh, the holes need to be. Now the first one's always the most difficult one, um, but basically I'm starting off with a um, an M6, sorry, six mil um, drill. So I'll just go through with that first, and then um, I'll be able to uh, sort of get the hole in the right place. And then what I'll do as soon as I've done that, I'm, I'm going to extend the hole out uh, with an eight mil hole. Um, then I will. Then I'll drill the holes through the pipe work, so I can use the hole in here to align where the hole needs to be. And then what I'm going to do then afterward is just stretch one of the two holes out to um, probably nine mil. Um, so I've got a little bit of um, give in the, uh, you know, as it goes down, so it doesn't trap itself between the uh, uh, between the two um, pieces of studding coming out. So uh, I'll just drill the holes now. Okay, so now I've got the um, the two six mil holes cut. I've now changed the drill for an eight mil, and I'm just going to enlarge those holes out to eight mil. Okay, now on this side of the on this side of the hole, obviously that's going to be sort of facing down like that. So on this side here, I'm going to have the weld fillet. So basically, that's that's where, if you imagine. If that's the bolt going into the uh, the metal, um, there's going to be like a, a small amount of weld either side going out. So what I need to do is basically countersink these two holes so there's no material um, obviously touching the uh, the weld because obviously the uh, you know there'll be a little bit of weld there. So what I'm using is just a countersink standard countersink bit. I was going to countersink these two holes. Okay, 
so now we've got these two holes um, in there, what I've done is I've just gone round with the, the angle grinder making sure that all the edges are nicely rounded off so it doesn't catch on anything, um, you know, the net or your fingers or whatever else, so it's all nicely smoothed off now. Um, obviously I've, I've countersunk this side very slightly just to take off any burrs and that side as you can see I've countersunk quite deeply so that you know the fillet weld will, will, will sit in there so obviously we've got the just so you understand we've got the um, the threaded shaft going through the hole and then on on this side of it there's going to be like a um, like a weld so that will um, that 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 will sort of sit in that sort of little space there now these are obviously going to weld in exactly the same way to the um, to the pipe as the um, the other one did so if you imagine we're going to have a piece of pipe um, going off from this welded on like that so it's going to kind of sit along there now I don't I don't want any strain to go onto this weld here and I'm going to do this obviously on the one that's existing as well so what I've done is I've got a bit of scrap uh, well there's a bit of scrap pipe uh, which is um, sort of 10 mil 10 mil scrap pipe I've also got uh, a bit of solid bar as well that's pipe um, it'll all do the same job uh, that's bar um, that's a bit of solid bar. So what I'm going to do is um, cut um, a length of this, um, which is probably going to be about about, about kind of 12 inches long. I'm going to put a 45 degree angle at each end. So what's going to happen is um, if I do this um, kind of this way, if you like. So we're looking at it from the from the top. Obviously, this pipe is going to go out along here. What I'm going to do is weld in um, a piece of a, a piece of this in at kind of that that angle like that so that what it'll do is it'll it'll strengthen it'll it'll keep this at a right angle and it'll stop this from bending now obviously when the um, the tunnel's actually on the ground this isn't going to be a problem because you know it's going to be anchored to the ground this is really to strengthen it as it's been moved up and down the allotment at the end of the season so this is going to sort of weld onto this face here so it'll weld um, if you imagine like that onto this face here and it'll go down onto this pipe so I'm going to cut about 12 inches of this at a 45 degree angle top and bottom and then that'll sit in there and I'll weld that on and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's welded on. Okay so there are the um, six lengths of um, pipe as you can see I've got a 45 degree cut on there and on there so obviously that'll sit um, if you imagine that's the um, that's the piece of metal yeah, let's get one that's the right way there. So that's the that's the piece of metal like that, and the pipe will be coming out from here. That will sit like that. So it'll go across from there to the pipe. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll weld those on and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so as you can see that's where the uh, the other brackets will go. And it's in exactly the same, it's exactly the same as this one here. Um, except that um, obviously you know I've got this cut out and the hole's going to be slightly further back so that's going to sit in there so in exactly the same way I need to drill out these two holes here and then weld in some bolts so I can put them on then obviously there'll be another piece going across here um, and just to explain where these pieces are going just in case you, know, you didn't quite follow me you know, that's going to sit sort of across there at sort of 45 degree angle like that and what that's going to do is basically strengthen this joint here to stop this from or, or this from moving backwards and forwards to keep it all square so before I take this off I'm also going to weld these on like that and what I'm going to do is just clean this weld up um, in here just to make sure that's nice and clean um, obviously I've got the, uh, the the little peg there that holds the the arch part in so I just need to clean that off um, I may well take this out to do that um, and then as soon as I've done that, I'll, I'll weld this on. Obviously, I'm doing that first because as soon as this is welded on, I'm not going to be able to get in there very easily with the uh, the grinder. So I'm just going to clear that weld off there, make sure there's no sharp edges or anything like that, and then weld this in here. And then that's that bar finished. As you can see, we've had a bit of rain, so this is going a little bit rusty. But what I'll do is um, leave it as it is for now, drill these holes out slightly, put it back on, and then as soon as I'm ready for painting, I'll just wire brush this back up. Um, to get all the surface rust off then I can paint that and it'll be all finished so that's going to kind of end up going somewhere like that well in there like that just to strengthen the side and then so what I'll do is I'll drill the holes for the bottom in exactly the same way as here obviously but the slightly further back um, on those two corners and also 
the corner there and there, so there's going to be a bar going across the bottom. I'll fit those two bars in place and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've fitted the, uh, the plates, obviously you can see the plates are nice and loose, you know, they'll, they'll come out easily. Um, I've not had to clean the weld off, but basically there's the weld, just welding the, uh, the top of the, uh, the bolt. And I will tie it up slightly, I'll just go over it with the angle grinder. But uh, I've not welded the underneath yet, obviously what I'll do is just weld all this together. And then when I take the tunnel apart, I can turn these bits upside down, cut those off and just weld them on. Uh, never try and weld upside down, it uh, doesn't work particularly well. So, I'm basically ready now to weld this um, pipe onto here. I've just got an old ammunition box there just to hold that up, obviously there's no ammunition in this. But uh, I'm just, just sort of, that's roughly the right height for there, uh, which is okay. Um, I've stretched out the holes uh, on the top here so this nicely goes in and out so I can, you know, lift this out easily. Um, so the top piece is in, so also the top bit will be square. These two pipes are exactly the same length, so I know um, obviously if the bottom's straight and I weld these bottom two bits in, they'll be uh, nice and straight. So what I'll do now is all I've got to do now is obviously this one's nice and loose as well. Uh, just lift that up, weld that in, weld that into there. I'm just going to tack that on there, and then um, I'll weld in the other side, and then I know that all of that's square. Then I can run a weld round here and round the other side, and then. Uh, that will all be done nicely, so I'll show you what that looks like when I've got it done. Okay, so now that's tacked in, I've got it um, just quickly tacked in on that side there. You can see, um, and the same on the other side. So what I'll do now is just uh, get my mask on and I'll go around and run a run a weld all the way around those joints and that bit's um, that bit finished. As you can see the, the side is slightly bending out. Uh, there is a bit of give in the frame that's got to sort of go that way a little bit. But um, what I'll do is I'll um, these bits um, basically need to be more like that. So what I'll do is I can weld these bits in now because I know that they're straight and then um, I need to think about um, how to fit fix a pipe between these two. Um, to keep the, the back of it straight, so I'll show you that next. So I hope this episode of Jim's Love and Garden has been of some use to you. Please don't hesitate to put any comments or questions you, you've got below on any of the subjects that we've covered uh, within um, today's episode. In the coming episodes what we're going to be doing is finishing off the framework, getting all the various bits and bobs in, making, make, making sure it's all square, and then um, finishing off the side walls, obviously we're going to plate one side and the back, and then it's all going to be painted. Uh, and all finished so, it's, uh, so it'll last us a, a good long time. As soon as we've done that we're then going to start putting the net over and the cables um, inside to hold the net up and all, and all of that. So all of that's coming in the next few weeks so it's all ready for the spring to put all the vegetables in. But anyway, all of that's coming in the next few weeks so I hope this has been of interest to you and I'll see you on the next episode of Jim's Up Garden.